do knee stretch. So you stretch it out first of all, then nicely, slowly, like a whisk. You're making a cake. Can-can. You're beating those eggs. Can can. <laughs> Stretch and round and stretch and round. I'm a winner! So Chris, how long have you been doing these balance and mobility exercises? About 10 years I'm going to sneeze. (laughs) Bless you. 10 years. Oh, well done. And may I ask how old are you? I'm 81. 81, fantastic. And hopefully you never fall over, do you? (laughs) <laughs> Hopefully, if he does fall over, he can get up again. <laughs> At Home Physio Company, we provide a force prevention service and programmes. We will go into clients' homes, discuss why they're falling, and then help them with a force prevention programme, focusing on their balance and strength, as well as any other ailments that could be contributing to their falls. We'd also work with carers, such as Kingsway Care Carers, to be able to help clients go through their exercises with support on a regular basis. This is what you'll do if you're on your own. Are you in any pain at all? I'm okay. You're okay. So if you were in any pain, we'd ask you to stay still, press your call button and call for help. If you're not in any pain, you'll put your hands by your face. Then you'll try and push yourself up so you're onto your knees. If you're comfortable crawling, you can then crawl to the nearest piece of furniture. If you can't get onto the chair, you would then sit back and use the chair as a resting post. Make sure you press your call button and wait for help. do if you're on your own. Assess if you're in any pain. Are you in any pain anywhere? I think I'm okay. Okay. If you were in pain, please don't move and just press your call button. If you're not in any pain, you can try firstly to sit up and if you're unable to do that, you can try and roll over so you're onto your side. If you try and sit your body up so you're onto your elbows, push up on your elbows, Yes, bend your knees. And then you'll try and shuffle to the nearest piece of furniture. Once you're there, put your left hand onto the chair. Then rotate your body and put your right hand onto the chair. Then you'll try and use your upper body strength to come onto your knees. Put both hands on the chair. Lift your left knee up so your left foot is on the floor and then push as hard as you can up to a sitting position onto the chair. So why do I keep falling? So there's lots of different causes of falls. There are several main reasons. Um, So if you've fallen before, you are more likely to fall again. And this can be because of an imbalance impairment or a strength deficit, or if you're taking four or more different types of medication. Um, if you have any visual disturbances or use a mobility aid, or you can have orthostatic hypertension, and that's where when you sit to stand or change position, your blood pressure drops, and that can make you feel dizzy and cause a fall. The first balance exercise we're going to start with is the single leg stand. Holding onto the back of a sturdy chair, lift your left foot up just slightly. Hold that position. If you feel comfortable, lift up your left hand. and then lift up your right hand. If you feel like you're going to fall, put your hands back onto the back of the chair. The aim would be to count to 10 seconds, if not more, without holding on. So the next balance exercise we're going to do is the tandem. You place your feet in front of one another with your heel against your toes. If that feels comfortable, you can lift your right hand up If you feel like you're going to fall, put your hand back onto the sturdy chair. To progress this exercise, you can then start walking in this position as if there's a tightrope. So step in front. Good, and then the next one. 
Make sure you're near a sturdy surface at all times. We would also do strengthening exercises as part of our falls prevention programme. One of these exercises is a sit to stand. This aims to strengthen your thigh muscles, which is helpful if you've had a fall and you need to try and get up. We'll start by putting our hands either side of a chair or on the arms if you have one. Have our feet apart and feet back behind you. Lean forward so your nose is over your toes. Push as hard as you can with your arms and up. Great. Have your hands in front of you. Lean forward, push your hips back and slowly sit down. Try and repeat this five times. If that feels easy, you can try ten times. So the next exercise in our fall prevention programme would be the squat. Use a sturdy surface, such as a chair or a kitchen surface. Have your feet apart and hands on the surface. Push your hips back and your chest forward and slightly bend your knees as far as you feel comfortable and then stand up tall. Repeat this four to five times or more if you feel comfortable. 